Okay, welcome back everyone to video 10 in the HQ Lab series. Today we are going to be setting up the Cisco ASA just with SSH and ASDM access. <clears throat> this is in preparation for the next video which will be setting up the VPN from the ASA for the remote side into the FTDs for connectivity into the HQ. Okay, so let's get cracking with it. Okay, so we'll go into enable mode. It will prompt us to set a password because it's the first time we've logged in. We will set the password. And as we can see from the topology, um, we're doing the same as what we did with a few other devices where we'll manage this from the network management center, but we'll come over this management cloud um, through the interface of EVNG uh, to manage it rather than going through the topology. This gives us direct access to the management. Makes it a bit seamless. We will say no to the anonymous reporting. And from the topology, we can see we're in management zero slash zero. We'll give it the IP address of 172.29.129.25 with a 24 bit mask. We will give it a name of MGMT for management. It set a security level for us. We will go ahead and unshut the interface. Okay, uh, we will confirm that that is set up. Yep, that's looking good. We will set a local username and password. We'll go for username uh, admin password cisco123 obviously in a production environment you'd want to use a much more secure password than that and we will set up AAA authentication to ssh using a local database we will set up ssh access from the management subnet and we will tell it that that's allowed on the management interface we will enable uh, the HTTP server which will allow us to use ASDM and we will also tell it where we can access the ASDM from which again is our management subnet going to the management interface. Okay, so with a bit of luck, <coughs> we should now be able to access that from our network management center. 172.29.129.25. Yep, we'll accept the SSH key. Username, password, uh, admin, password, Cisco123. And <coughs> we are in. Oh no. Yep, there we go. So, the next step um, if we were to look at what is stored on the flash at the moment, we can see we actually have no. ASDM um, stored so we can't use ASDM so what we have to do is we have to <coughs> download this and we have to TFTP it onto the box so I've already downloaded the ASDM image so we will say copy from TFTP to disk 0 which is the ASA we will say Copy it from 172.29.129. Uh, I think we are 104, the network management center. The source file name that will be this ASDM file. The destination file name will be the same. So 
exactly what we need to do. We need to make sure that the TFTP server is up and running first. Yep, so I use SolarWinds TFTP server. It's free, it's simple, and it does exactly what it says on the tin. So we'll open that up so we can see the transfer and process. Okay, and um, we'll hit enter on that. And there we go. We can see the copy coming over now. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> So that's the ASDM image on the box. So what we will do is we will go into global config and we'll say ASDM image. And we'll tell it to use that one. There's only one in there, but this is best practice. If you ever upgrade the firmware on your ASA, <clears throat> some, some ASA images are only compatible for certain ASDM Im images. So you want to make sure that you have the right one on the box and that you're pointing to it okay so what we do now is we open a web browser session and we will go to the ip of the asa which should now prompt us to download the asdm program okay so we'll click advance and yeah proceed and we need to click the install ASDM launcher. Uh, I won't go ahead and click this because I've already installed it. Uh, also, you will need to install Java to get this running. Um, now, I'm using Java 8 3.11. Um, again, this is something that is dependent on which ASA version you're running. But yeah, you download the, once you go to the web address of the ASA, you download this DM launcher, you click install, and it gives you the Cisco ASDM launcher. And we should be good to sign in. Okay, and there we have it. That is us ready to manage the ASA, either from SSH or from ASDM. Now, my preference in, in general is to use the ASDM um, unless it's configuring interfaces or routing, anything like that I prefer to do in SSH, NAT, VPN, and pretty much anything else I'll use the ASDM for. Okay, hopefully that's been uh, informative for you. If it has, please like, share, subscribe and thank you for viewing.